Okay, so since we have our once we have our free chart, our few free account at Lucid chart created, we're going to go ahead and create a new document. When we click on there, what we're going to do over here, we'll get this dialog box and we'll come over to sitemap. And what we want to do is go ahead and choose blank sitemap. It's going to load the editor, which will allow us to begin um, building our sitemap. And so essentially, we're just going to start out with a uh, simple one page up there, and we're going to put our our site name just so that we know exactly where this is coming from. Um, once we do that, we're able to uh, go ahead and click on it, and we can take a look and. Uh, see some information. We can even put our URL in there as we build it. Um, you know, we can tell it what kind of design we want to achieve as we build the site. And uh, we're going to go. We're going to go after that one, and uh, we'll go ahead and close that out. And at this point, you can see I clicked on that little dot, and it gives me the opportunity to make a new page. And so we'll go ahead and create the love page. Um, and we'll go ahead and move that over there. Um, from there, I can create another page, which I could take off of there, which we don't want to do, um, because we want this page to actually come off of here. And so we'll go ahead and we'll click on there and we'll say we want another page, and that one will be who and We'll come up and we'll we'll do that one more time for the oops. We didn't want to do that. Let's drag the who over here so we can see what's going on. And uh, let's just drag another block out. It'll make it a lot easier. And we'll call this one challenges. And uh, we'll click away and take that. And then we can drag this dot and we can just connect it right up there. And sometimes it gets a little wonky like that. Um, and what we want to do is just kind of click on one of these boxes and say, clean up layout. Uh, we don't want that kind of layout. We want this kind of layout. Every once in a while, it'll get funky on you. And uh, when it does that, you just basically want to come in. Um, And you want to take the the line that it's it's using and put it where you would like it to be. Oh, it's going to be difficult on me, so I'm just going to I'm actually going to cut that away. And I'm going to paste it. And it's telling me to use my shortcut keys, which that's all good and fine. At this point, I can take these I'm going to move these over out of the way so I can fit more under um, don't mind sharing the complications with you I think it's important for you to see especially the fact that it keeps trying to um, keeps trying to do what it's trying to do Let's see if we can do it this way no. there we go that's what we wanted to do let's go ahead and get rid of this one this in. Um, site maps are always very important. They give you a clear vision as to where you're headed, um, what it is you're going to build, and uh, keeps you and your client or yourself aligned. And so at this point we could um, come in here and we could, what I'm trying to get at is the Clean up uh, layout. I don't see it on there. Bring this up here, and we'll just we'll go ahead and we'll clean it up later. And under under love, we're going to go ahead and create things. We'll go ahead, and move that over out of the way, so we can just see again. And we'll create another one and we'll call it people. And from there, we're going to.
going to say cleanup layout. And what that cleanup layout does is it, it puts everything, spreads everything out the way you want it, makes it all look nice. And so we'll go over to who and we'll add in our next level there with, um, we're going to use I. And off of I, we're going to put another box was then. Off of I, we're going to put another. Or, come on. Off of I, we're going to put another box. And we're going to call that M now. And let's move this out of the way so that we can hit our dot again. And we'll call this one will be. We can go ahead and clean up our layout again, lays it out nicely for us. Um, and we'll go over to challenges and in challenges we're going to see another one which we're going to call mm, that box is being a little pain in the butt there we go um, and that one we'll call uh, a head another one <coughs> and that one we'll call behind and I think we're going to call it behind me and ahead of me so they were looking good so let's go ahead and clean up layout again and nicely spreads everything out the way that we want it to go um, and let's go ahead and put our U where we're going to put our profile and then underneath profile we're going to put our settings and again we can go ahead and do the old cleanup layout so that it just continues to look nice um, We have was then, am now, will be. Um, so now we're just going to finish off these. And so for our family oh, that went and tried to connect that, we're going to say Control Z to that. We're going to move these over. Um, these, although these tools are great, they can be a little, a little temperamental in how we do things. So there we go. So people will say family. Drag that out of the way, it just makes it easier. We'll say friends. We'll go ahead and we'll drag that one out of the way. And we'll click there and we'll say others. And um, we can go ahead and say clean up layout now. Again, lays everything out nicely for us and so now we'll go ahead and one of the things that we can do if you notice our layouts getting really wide um, we can change the way our layout works and if you notice I just gave it the um, told it to stack the sub menus which brings it in tighter and usually has nicer results then we're going to go ahead and do things and under things we're going to do um, music we'll add another one and we'll call that um, movies we'll add another one we'll call that um, if you notice I click away to be able to get at that when something gets in my way books and then we'll add one more um, which is not on the uh, the homework uh, picture, but if you don't get it, um, not, nothing to really worry about there. You're not gonna get in trouble or lose points or whatever. So we'll come down and we'll call that websites. We'll click on that. We'll get our properties up and we'll clean up layout once again. And if you notice, now we have this nicely laid out chart um, 
that allows us to see exactly uh, the structure of the site that we want to build and we can use that as a guide you can come in and uh, you can add some color um, to your boxes whoops uh, wrong place I'm not gonna waste time with that, but the um, the fill is the fill is basically up here, and we could say, you know, add some color. Uh, if you really want to be creative, you can go ahead and um, you know make your box into a uh, a login, which we we would use different things like that. So. Um, completely up to you how much time you want to put into it this is what the expectation is at this point um, what you would do is you would click share and you would call it inside out site map dash your name not my name your name save and um, what you want is get shareable link and this is the link that you will submit to um, to Canvas. Okay, great. 